question 14. It's uh, asking for finding the charge stored on a capacitor when some amount of voltage is applied. So the physical picture I want you to have in mind is this picture. You have a capacitor represented by two parallel lines of equal length. And you are given some amount of capacitance. And um, they're just telling you how much voltage difference is imposed across this capacitor. And then they are asking you for the amount of charge that's stored on the capacitor. Uh, plus Q on one, minus Q on the other. That's why there's a plus minus symbol here. So um, as you're looking at it, the hint will tell you, use the definition of capacitance. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to use. Capacitance is defined in this way, as you have seen in the lecture. It's kind of capacity to store charge. Wait, that's not capacitance, that's the charge. So capacitance, uh, capacity to store charge, is defined this way. Well, st uh, storing charge, so Q divided by the thing that limits how much charge can be stored. And what it'll, it'll ultimately end up being is the voltage imposed across the capacitor. The larger amount of voltage you have, the more charge Q you will be able to store on the capacitor plate. So, so this is the definition of capacitance. And it's the single most useful expression whenever you are dealing with the capacitors, because you can transform your knowledge of uh, one or more of the parameters into what you can say about the remaining parameter. So here, let me just solve this for Q. Q is equal to C times V. And uh, that's it. In the basic SI unit, if you specify the capacitance in farad and the voltage in volts, then the answer you get will be cool, a charge in coulombs. Um, but the unit of one farad and one coulomb are absurdly large amount of capacitance and charge. So very often you will see these pico and nano as the prefixes. So uh, let me do this calculation. It's uh, simple enough of a calculation. So um, I'm just going to take the eight pico farad, eight times the 10 to the power of uh, minus 12, eight pico farad times 9 volts is equal to that. Um, so that's going to be in the unit of Coulomb. To get the answer in the unit of nano Coulomb, I divide by what nano means, 10 to the power of minus 9. So divide by 1 times 10 to the power of minus 9. So the answer there will give me the answer in nano Coulombs. So, so 0 0.072 nano Coulombs. 0.072 nanocoulombs. And by convention, often when we refer to the amount of charge on the capacitor, even though we acknowledge that it stores a positive and negative charge, so on net, it stores net zero charge, we'll often refer to this positive charge only as the amount of charge stored on the capacitor, uh, more as an indicator of, well, yeah, I, I don't know if I need to go more. Okay, uh, let's get to the next question. I'm going to leave some of these um, things on because um, I think they are, will be applicable to the next question as well. So the next question is a similar. Let's see here. Where do I want to put this? Um, so it says calculate the voltage applied to some um, amount of capacitance, capacitor, when it holds some amount of charge. Oh, so here um, you are dealing with the same expression here, same definition of capacitance. The difference is what is known and what is unknown. So in this question, they are telling you the capacitance and the charge. So you need to solve for the voltage in order to use this definition of capacitance. So let me solve this for voltage. Uh, that was for previous question. Voltage is equal to, um, so voltage goes there, capacitance goes down, so it'll be Q divided by C. And the same thing about the unit applies as well. When you specify charge in coulombs and the uh, capacitance in farad, coulomb per farad, somehow 
magically <laughs> will be volt. <laughs> um, and then, you know, watch out for the powers of 10. So, yeah, so let me answer this question here. I'm just going to plug in the numbers into my calculator. So I have 5.4 micro coulomb, uh, so 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb divided by 2 microfarad. Oh, I could have just let micros cancel each other out. Oh, well. Uh, 2 <laughs> times 10 to the power of minus 6 uh, farad. Um, so that uh, division should equal to uh, the voltage um, and the, uh, um, yeah, 2.7 volts. So that, that's our answer. Uh, voltage applied to the capacitor plate must be 2.7 volts to uh, induce this much amount of charge separation for this kind of capacitor. So these are really simple questions. Um, and it's, uh, I think, uh, yeah, let me not belabor this point. Uh, there are some um, expressions that we use quite a lot when we deal with uh, um, setups like this, uh, with the capacitors. This uh, definition of capacitance should be one main source of information. And when we cover registers in a, uh, well, in the coming week, uh, Ohm's law will, be, will play a similar role. Um, these are expressions that relate three dynamical quantities together. So once you know two, then you know the third.